Hey y'all, Coach in the fight here, got Stacy with me. Hello. All right, so <clears throat> I got a surprise class for Stacy. You know, we like to catch her off guard to get her genuine thoughts on subjects, you know. Um, so I guess we'll jump right into it. This is an idea. What do you think about this? The Third Testament is the book of the third covenant it's the third covenant book you got the old covenant the first covenant that was the old testament you got the new covenant that was the messiah in the new testament now you got the they call what they call the new new covenant the jeremiah 31 covenant the hebrews 8 covenant this is the book for the third covenant let me show a picture of it this is the book for the third Third covenant. Or you can order this one. Yeah, you can order this one from uh, third test get third testament dot com. Get third testament dot com. It's all kinds of T's in there. Or you can this one. Or yeah, you can get this one. Um from Walmart oh, or Amazon. We got one more now. Oh, yeah. Um, we, these are Third Testament, all of them. Now, this one has some additional information. This one right here you're looking at, it has uh, these other books, Message of Mary. I don't know nothing about those. Um, and then here's the last one. Go ahead. This one. This one. Yeah, we'll actually print you off one. We sent out about four of these so far. Um, what's unique about this one is that it actually has four pages on each page. So you have to get some glasses. You can go down to the Dollar Tree and get your dollar pair of reading glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's got four pages on each page. It's done like that to save uh, paper. And we also got a um, mm -hmm. message the day before yesterday from one of the sisters that actually received a copy of the um, the book that we sent out and she was saying how much she's enjoying it and how, how great it's helping her. So she yeah. sent you that by email. Mm -hmm. She okay. just wanted to say thank you again. All right. So we'll find a way to display that up here. But yeah, if you got, if you need, if you need a copy, um, like there's no way that you can even afford that Walmart copy right there. I think that one costs how much they, um, no, not under, not over $30, not over $30. If you can't come up with $30, then, uh, we'll send you one of these. Um, it's in a three ring binder. Um, but yeah, that's just that's, print you one for here at home. And this is only if they want a copy to have in hand, but they can always go to the uh, PDF on the internet. Yeah. Jesus hyphen comes.com. You can, um, get the same one. That's all we did was downloaded it and then printed it. The PDF downloaded the pretty, the PDF and then printed it from a website you, you what you will google is the third testament jesus hyphen comes dot com and you can print this one off even put it on a computer or you can get the mp3 file you remember the um audio book right yeah you can get that from youtube um all of this stuff is down in the description of this video um all of these links and stuff so just look down and get all of them audio books and everything but back to the subject of this video yeah back to the question i i absolutely think it could be um i believe that the father came in the first co first covenant then he came in the form of the messiah in the second covenant and the third testament tells us i was listening to it yesterday while i was actually out picking beans um that he said that um he was coming again in this book to yet give us another chance another form of him coming so i do believe that it very well could be he said that he was coming in this form to give us another opportunity to um hear him you said that you believe that it's the book of the covenant. See, to me, I'm like, I thought you would have more argument. I know somebody gonna have a lot of argument. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm sure there are, somebody's gonna say that there's not even a third covenant. But um, when you read it for yourself, then I think you 
will possibly be like me and say that it very well could be. Mm -hmm. So anybody can say that it, I'm saying that it is. I'm saying that it absolutely is. That's the thing. That's that's the that's 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 why we're doing this is because you know this is a huge statement to make. And to summarize, this is what we're saying. When Moses was given the covenant back there in Mount Sinai, humanity was given the Old Testament to not only describe what that covenant was, but to give them instructions and examples to go by to know how to live within that covenant. That what we call the Old Covenant or the Mosaic Covenant. Then when the Messiah came, he introduced the Davidic Covenant, that covenant that's represented by the blood and the wine of Passover. And just like the Old Covenant, we received a new document to go by to give us instructions and examples on how to live within that covenant, that document that we call the New Testament. Then you have what's called the Palestinian Covenant, but that covenant points you back to the Mosaic Covenant. So Covenant 5, Covenant 6, Covenant 7 are all working in conjunction along with the 8th Covenant or that covenant that's known as the New Covenant. You see from Clarence Larkin's diagram that that covenant begins around the time of the Second Coming. This is when the laws are to be written on our heart. Well, what we are proposing here is that this third testament of the Bible is the document that gives us the instructions and examples of how to live within this new covenant. The third testament of the Bible is pointing us to the new covenant. So we are saying that this book is the book of the new covenant. Um, so let's continue this conversation down in the comment section of this video. Um, we'll actually do a poll too. We'll link it, the poll to this video. If you think this is the book of the New Testament, now, that's a big bold statement. I don't know how to. I don't know. It kind of. It kind of seems like it makes sense, and you know. So it, that's why what I believe um, presenting a um, inability to get excited about it. But I think this is really big news. When people say, what is the third testament? You say the third covenant. It's the book of the third covenant. Mm -hmm. that, that's what testament actually means. So for those who say there is no third testament, they might as well say there is no third covenant. And before you say it, read it. So the purpose of this video is to provide you with links to the third testament of the Bible. You can find those in the description both an audio book that you can listen to as well as a PDF version that you can read or download. We're saying that this book is to the New Covenant as the Old Testament was to the Mosaic Covenant and the New Testament was to the covenant ushered in by John the Baptist and the Messiah. So check it out. Follow the links. Read it for yourself. I mean, thank you guys for all your support. Um, thank you for all your prayers. And um, we definitely are praying for you as well. All right. I guess that's that on that. Mm-hmm. Shalom.